Hi and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, we will see how to monitor hybrid runtimes in Endpoint platform. I am Mohammad Akib, MuleSoft certified developer and architect, working on different projects since last few years. What should you already know before we move on? You should have some basic knowledge of MuleSoft and Endpoint platform. You should have an application deployed to hybrid runtimes. If you don't know how to deploy an application to a hybrid runtime, you can watch my previous video. You can see the link above and follow the tutorial. After that, you should have a REST client like Postman or Advanced REST client. In this video, we will cover how to access endpoint monitoring, how to configure endpoint monitoring for hybrid runtime, and in the end, we will see a demo how these all things work together. So let's move on and see how this integration works now you first need to log in to any point platform and move to monitoring from the menu once you go to monitoring page you should see that you don't have currently access to monitoring how you can enable the any point monitoring for your user you can go to access management from your business group Once you are here, you can go to users and assign the permission of monitoring to particular user. And this is currently the user. Now I, what I will do, I will go to this username and move to any point monitoring. Here I can select the access. I can say select all or you can say any point monitoring user. All right. Now click this add button. Go back to any point monitoring. And now you should see that you have access to any point monitoring. Now let's move on to settings because we need to configure monitoring for hybrid environment. We will first select the environment because currently you should have sandbox or design or if you are on production dev or any other environment, you can select that accordingly. I will select sandbox and I will select the server. I have two server configured server one and server two. So how you will get these servers, as I mentioned earlier in the video, that you can create your own servers, your own uh, runtime, hybrid runtime in any point platform. And you can watch one of the videos where I have mentioned how you can do that. Select the server and download this m.zip file. I have already downloaded, so I won't click here. Once we have downloaded, extract it to your folder. Now, before we move on to directory structure, where we need to extract the agent management zip file. First, let me show you the server and application already running in the environment. Let's go to runtime manager. And here you will see the application, the test application running on the server one, server one, which is my hybrid runtime that I have created. Let me show you servers as well. Uh, just let me click again. Yes, so these are two servers. One of them is running the server one, which is already running. All right. And uh, if I go back to monitoring, And monitoring in settings. Let's see again that the server we can select server one. Okay. Now, once you have downloaded this agent management zip file, you need to extract the zip file, which will create a new folder called am. These are the steps mentioned here. Then we need to run these commands uh, as mentioned here. And after five minutes, you should see matrix appear in endpoint monitoring. Monitoring. Let's move on and follow these steps. So this is where I have downloaded the agent management zip file. First, let's move, let's move on and extract it. Extract here. Now, once this is extracted, we have got the AM folder. We need to uh, move this folder from here to our runtime in Mule Enterprise Standalone. 
just paste here now once this is available here let's move on and see the steps that we need to follow now cd to the m folder and run this command so i have already got the powershell and i am in this directory okay let's run this command now this is configuring the any point agent management with our runtime this is successfully configured now it is saying that you want to use monitoring as a service i will say in my case no if you want to monitor uh, this as a service then you can select yes right let's move on and see what's the next step now we need to restart the server all right once we go back here we need to restart the server so let's move on and see the server which, which is running here and you can see that application is started which is test as i mentioned earlier now just click Control c it is just stopping the server right uh, i will say yes now let's restart server now since it is getting restarted we can see the next next steps and here finally cd into m folder again and run this setup command okay cd to m let's see if our server is restarted yes this is restarted uh, oh no i think it is restarting initializing app Uh, okay let's see from here runtime manager starting application and yes this is deployed restarted the server is restarted let's move on and you can see from here as well it is started and run the setup command here we go it is starting file bit and after a few times after a few minutes okay starting file bit okay that's right after a few minutes we will see that uh, the monitoring logs will appear over there let's move on to monitoring and uh, it will select environment i will say sandbox and select currently there is no resource uh, no results found for the server but if you see it was mentioned in monitoring page that we need to wait for at least five minutes to let the agent management configure the metrics here you can see more these details are already mentioned here so settings hybrid here it is mentioned in five minutes you should see metrics appear in any point monitoring so i'm pausing this video and when i will be back i will show you the monitoring in any point platform for the server one all right so we are all set to see the any point monitoring for our hybrid applications here you can see the hybrid server server one which we just configured and the application name test is available as i mentioned uh, earlier in the video let's move on and see the monitoring logs from here we have got different options to monitor just like endpoint uh, cloud hub application with that we monitor so this is how we can monitor our like we can configure the hybrid runtimes for monitoring with uh, any point platform let's move on and see uh, inbound request currently there are no request as i haven't see, sent any request after configuring the uh, monitoring for hybrid uh, runtime let's move on into uh, postman and send some of the request for the test application that i just created here okay hit the url send 
again send send acute uh, a few times like I have sent four or five times let's move on and just hit the refresh and uh, just wait for a few seconds it takes a bit of time to see the uh, monitoring features uh, let's, let's refresh just loading the monitoring features You can select uh, different applications from here as well like the resource name environment name all right so here we see we can see that the, uh, i have heard the request five times just uh, for moving to this site i mentioned from here we hit the request five times and you can see the monitoring from here inbound total request by response time okay and uh, here also you can see the average response time you can see the hello world endpoint that we just hit and yes the total request by endpoint hello world endpoint we hit for total of five times and these are more features for monitoring that you can uh, configure accordingly like monitor your applications so this brings end of video session if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon to get more such exciting videos you can also leave comments to have the video that you would like to see in future until then stay tuned